Hello everyone, my name's Anissa and I'm from 25th Harlow Al Ghazali Scout Group. So I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on your mini beast hunt activity. So here you can see quite a few common mini beasts that will help you identify your creatures. So you can do this search anywhere in the wild, but don't forget to be accompanied by an adult or a group of friends if you do this away from your home. So you can do this either in your garden, at a local woodland, in a field or at a local park. OK, so we're out in the garden, we're on the grass and we're looking to see if we can spot any mini beasts. So Aisha, oh, can I you can see, see any? I can see a bee over there. Okay. Look, it's over wasp. there. Oh, and there's a wasp here as well. Oh, and there's a wasp. There's a wasp, there's wasp there. I'm going to go to the bee seat. The bees over and the there. bees over here. There. And then the bee. bee. Can you see the difference between a wasp and a bee? Yeah, yeah because I'll be back on Lots of ants. Ooh. Ooh. And everywhere. Lots and lots of ants. Okay, so we're going to check underneath this log. Okay, so we found a creature. What have we found? A beetle, I think. Beetle, it's run. Oh, look at, look at that. Look there as well. Look. Oh, there's snails. Oh. Okay, so here we have an activity sheet. Um, I can either send this to you or you could have a plain piece of paper and you could put the columns in yourself. So you have the mini beast's name and you can use the sheet that I showed you before to try and identify your creatures if you don't if you can't identify them where you found the creature so we found the bee and the wasp on a daisy you describe the habitat conditions now that's where you found the mini beast so we found it in a warm sunny on a warm sunny day out in the open and it's dry and then you can draw a picture of your mini beast as well Thanks for watching everyone. Enjoy your mini beast hunt. Bye.